Colin and Graham are on a mission. A mission to find the most crazy, <laughs> the most extreme. You're gonna hit the people. I'm like a fried chicken. And let's face it, probably the most downright dangerous sports in the world. This is for Manna's very own Daredevil, Graham Little's latest project, a six part series that's catching the attention of people from across the islands. Every week, viewers see the boys travel to six countries India, Iceland, Japan, Germany, Oman, and Italy, representing Ireland as they try to compete in some of the craziest sporting events in the world. This hasn't been seen anywhere, certainly not on Irish television. So they're going to see a lot of adventure, uh, a lot of fear, a lot of the proper sports. And the, the key thing that we always say is that the presenters aren't the stars of the show. The event is the star of the show each time we go away. You know, people will be talking about bull surfing, the fact that people do this in India. People will be talking about sumo wrestling. People will be talking about horn sleigh and about camel racing in Oman. It's not us that are the stars, it's the actual event and the people that are doing it day in, day out. You know, we're going there and doing it for a week. These guys are living it and they're taking it seriously and people don't know anything about it. We're trying to show people that there's more to sport than Premier League football. There's a whole wide world of sport out there taken just as seriously as Man United v Liverpool and Boxing Day. I think my favourite programme of the six is the bodybuilding in Milan. It's just ridiculous. It's funny and it's, it's a total freak show. It's a festival of vanity. It's the most bizarre programme, I think. I think it's the best of the six. But it was probably my least enjoyable experience to film. Um, because we were starving ourselves and training and it was just exhausting actually and neither Colin nor I are really into bodybuilding, we're both into sport but we just thought that was a, wasn't a sport, it was more of a parade and we didn't really enjoy it. But the, most fi the, most, the thing we enjoyed the most was probably the horn slaying in Germany. Just brilliant people, brilliant event, a real perfect mix of culture and sport which is what we're trying to go with. Each one of these series is what, that's what we're looking for, a mix of culture and sport. The horn slaying had all of that. It was great crack, it was the first week of January, the snow was around the ground, um, the fun was mighty and uh, we did okay in it as well. So I think the horn, plus it wasn't at the other end of the world, you know, it's not, we've been to India and Oman and Japan, they're all huge trips, you know, it's exhausting even that travelling and then as soon as you get there, there's no day or two to relax and get over jet lag, you're straight into filming. So there are tough trips but really memorable and great to look back on, whereas the horn stay was only two hour flight and we had no recovery time, we didn't need it and it was just great fun and the people were bringing. It may look like all a bit of fun, but Graham insists they both genuinely took the event seriously. And as sportsmen, they truly wanted to try and master the various sports. We try to do the sport as well as possible. We're both, we take the sport as seriously as you can take. Sports like horn slaying and, and bull surfing. If you didn't take them seriously, if you didn't take the bull surfing seriously, you'd be in for a nasty shock. You know, we were, you couldn't not take that seriously because the adrenaline was pumping. It was extremely dangerous and we had no time really to prepare for it, so we had to take it seriously when we got there, otherwise we were gonna get really properly hurt. But the sports that we do, like sumo wrestling and bodybuilding, we took those seriously as well because we didn't want to turn up and be a complete joke. It's not about patty whackery, it's not about embarrassing Ireland and you know just being two idiots. It's about seriously trying to see how well we can do in these sports. Obviously it's fun as well, hopefully, and amusing, but we do actually want to do well. The title says it all, Excellent Adventures, and that was what it has been for us. It's been an incredible adventure, and it has been tired and it has been exhausting, and I know that people think it's the dream job and you're going away and having fun, but when you see the programme, it's 30 minutes distilled of fun. It doesn't show the four hours driving through the sand in 40 degree heat to get to the event. It doesn't show the five nights spent living in a tent in the desert. It's not as glamorous at all as people think it is, but I wouldn't do anything else. It's, it's an incredible adventure, incredible experiences, and although it isn't always fun at the time, it's always amazing fun looking back on it. And whenever we meet up, we have got just so many stories to bore people with. And that's part of the fun as well. So I would just describe the whole thing as an absolutely incredible adventure and a real privilege to be a part of it. It's been an exciting few years for the boys. And although their lives have changed drastically since they began filming, they hope to start planning for a second series very soon, which promises to have many more excellent adventures. Ashlyn Hagen for MANA TV.